first time even making jerky. I've never made jerky before. Didn't even cut the fat off. Pretty sure I was supposed to do that. Smells fine. I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> Hey, this is Corey from Insomnia Hot Sauce. I have another pepper powder review for you today. I'm going to be doing Naga Morich. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This is from Jimmy Pickles, jppepperseeds.com, isolated pepper seeds only. He does not sell pepper powder, but this is the powder that represents the seeds that he sells. Okay, cool. So Naga Morich, kind of like a ghost pepper, maybe hotter, gnarlier. Um, I sampled this already. Um, so I'm not just reviewing the powder today. I actually decided to make something with the powder and because I'm in the middle of starting a hot sauce business with my partner and a cottage food business um, as well, we have a food dehydrator that she got me for Christmas because she is amazing. And so I decided to make jerky. I love jerky, I, especially teriyaki jerky. Teriyaki flavored beef jerky, I love. I can't eat it that much, too much salt but um, I thought maybe I could make my own. So I made a Naga Morich teriyaki beef jerky. Now, both of these, and I made two, both of them were marinated with a teriyaki marinade that I made myself, because I am a cook. And um, the marinade had Naga Morich powder in it. However, one of them, I also sprinkled extra Naga Morch powder on afterwards. So that's the difference. I have two, one should be hotter. I think it's probably gonna be hotter. Whew. Oh, and I threw um, the package away that Naga Morch came in, so you will see it up there. You should have seen it already. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's been up there, I don't know. But um, yeah, I threw it away while I was making the jerky. Um, but rest assured, this does have Naga Morich powder in it. And yeah, let's get into it. First time making jerky. Hope it came out good. Like I said, I sampled a little bit. All right. Got one package here. Now this is the one that, uh, didn't have extra sprinkled on it. Or if it did, it was very little. I think I left it in a little too long. I left it in about 12, 13 hours. I think it should have been more like nine or 10. Do this. Let's see if it, let's see if it focuses. Don't think it's gonna, whatever. Let's try it. What's crazy is This was in a teriyaki marinade, and the first flavor I get is powder. I use the entire package of powder. This is the one that's not supposed to be hot. It's so hot. It tastes great. The flavor of the Nogmorich actually goes good with teriyaki. Oh my God, that's hot. That's super good. Um, yeah, 
it shouldn't be, it's not as tender as I'd like it to be. It's my first time making jerky, so lesson learned. Um, that is delicious. It's, it's, how about this? It's the hottest jerky I've ever had in my life. Yeah, that's, that's hot. That's like eating a spoonful of an ultra hot, hot sauce. My entire tongue, the back of my tongue and the sides of my tongue are numb. My glasses are fogging up and my throat is on. It's like, it's just before it's hitting the back of my throat. It's almost all my tongue and the sides of my tongue and underneath my tongue now. A little bit on the roof of my mouth, but it's all tongue, pretty much. And this is just, I just put it in the marinade. Now, the flavor of this was not super heavy on the teriyaki flavor. Because I, I think a lot of people add more to it after they dehydrate it. And I just marinated it and then dehydrated it. Uh, I didn't want to mess around for my first time. God. I... Uh, <clears throat> It's really good. It's really good. Let me see. Um, the flavor is excellent. It's hot. That's like gonna give me some camp cramps later, like hot. Oh, Jesus. Woo, we got one more. <laughs> oh man. Excuse me. Well, it says, I don't know if you read it, it says hotter. Okay. Oh, this is gonna... <clears throat> and it's kind of dark because it had such a dark marinade on. Oh my God. Let's see pepper powder all over it. Let's see. Let's see if you can see it. It's very hard to see. My camera doesn't want to focus. I don't think this fucking camera does focus. Sorry. Oh, I can see powder all over it. Oh my God. I don't want to, I didn't bring any napkins. <clears throat> the burn from that one. Sides of my tongue, again, roof of my mouth, back of my mouth, tip of my tongue. Try not to take a drink so I can really feel it. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> That's probably the hottest thing I've eaten in a few months. Oh, my mouth is just filling with saliva. I didn't bring a napkin. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Got this dirty towel. I used to clean up some spills with my um, my pepper plants.
That's stupid. <sighs> Delicious. Something, if I really wanted to burn, like I kind of did, that's why I decided to make this video right now. Um, that's going to last me a while. That is going to last me a while. Now, I have full-on lip burn, the inside of my lips, the outside of my lips, the outside of my lips. Everything's burning. My entire tongue, the roof of my mouth, I like the sides of my mouth. I don't know if you can see my eyes are watering. Uh, my eyes are watering. I had to pull my glass down a little bit because they were starting to fog up. I can feel like my nose is really running a little bit. But, you know, we're going down now. Wow. Man. I hope I didn't eat enough to get cap cramps, but if I do, hey, the last um, video I did, I'm not sure which one will come first, will come out first, but the last video I did was the, um, um, excuse me, was the uh, Maruga Scorpion powder, I believe, or no, Giant Maruga, I don't know, it, it, it'll be on the video, um, and I had camp cramps from that. But I ate a lot more of it, and I had cap cramps, but I'll say straight up, actually, I don't know if I ate more of it, because this jerky was coated in it, and that one I was just, you know, but I'll say this, this one, um, this one was hotter, I'm trying to think what I've had that's been this hot. There's a few sauces that are up there. If you really did a spoonful, you'd get it. But um, as far as just like a spicy food, I mean, I made it, so obviously it's going to be hot. But um, yeah, I don't know if I've ever had a food that had this much spice on it. Unless I was just dunking it in sauce. But yeah, this is great. It tastes great. The amount I just ate was perfect. Probably too much. This is just like, take a bite every now and then. I think what I'm going to do is, because um, I'm going to be making some of my own powders from the peppers I grew. And I really just want to make my own spicy jerky, just for me to snack on. Just for me. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the powder amount by probably about a quarter and um, maybe a half, a half. And I'm probably going to use regular red ghost pepper powder. And then I'll probably make a scotch bonnet one too that I just can snack on. But while it was hot, Nagamorich powder on my very own teriyaki beef jerky that I made. Wow. JPPepperSeeds.com, Jimmy Pickles, um... You're not going to meet a more honest pepper seed vendor. And, you know, a lot of people got a lot of things to say. But, um, Jimmy Pickles is awesome. His YouTube channel is entertaining. And, um, pepper seeds, they're cheap. You know, and he makes sure to get them to you isolated. And for some reason... Some people like to hate. I do not understand why. Um, I see nothing but a genuine person who is very truthful and um, has a great business and has helped me along the way growing um, these plants, which I am going to put a clip of in here. Anyways, I am Corey with Insomnia Hot Sauce, and I'll see you soon. I said I would show you a clip of these plants so you can see that Choco Primo 
seven pot pickle mustard to peach uh, we got some primatali in there we got brazilian starfish red um we got some ahi lemon we've got all kinds of stuff sugar rush stripe or sugar rush peach stripey overwatered a couple of these a little bit you can we can see that i overwatered them a little bit got some white knight that just uh popped recently right there and uh you got some more primatales and brazilian red starfish that uh just popped there a lot i think i got getting close to about 80 80 plants right here all these ex except i believe one variety were from jimmy pickles and i got some tomatillos going in here too some queen of malonalco tomatillos um that i just found online i really wanted to grow those but uh yeah almost everything here besides the tomatillos and maybe one other type of pepper are from jimmy pickles and obviously they're not bunk seeds Yep, that's it.